Let's talk top five winners in the Vikings' loss to the Lions. All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lepagus Show. I'm One Bar with Lepagus. Vikings end the season with a loss to the Lions, ending their season. We're going to talk top five winners. Remember, this offseason is just beginning for the One Bar and Lepagus Show. We're going to be hot and heavy free agents, draft talk, everything. This is where this is our moment. This is where we are busiest. So hit that sub button, hit that like button. And we don't always like talking about winners and games that we lose, but we stick to our guns, we do what we got to do. If you want to talk about a winner, one bar was a winner today in underdog fantasy. One bar, how did that thing go down? I, you know what? It, it was a great week in underdog. Uh, I'm not going to say the actual amount I won, but it was real nice, real nice. I'm going to take me, me lady out to the, to the real nice fast food joint and treat her well. Mm. But uh, underdog treated me well. Remember, sign up. Uh, use the promo code SKOL, match your first 100 bones, best and easiest fantasy app out there. Let's talk about the best Vikings that played today. And let us know in the comments who your winners were. All right, who you got? Who you got? Who are we talking about well, first? Let's start with the easy one, Justin Jefferson. I mean, 12 receptions, 192 yards, one touchdown. It's the heart and soul of the Vikings out there. Eclipse is 1,000 yards. The dude continues to just make that dollar sign get higher and higher for the Vikings. And they're going to pay him. Yeah, it took a while for them to. I mean, I don't think he even had a target till the second quarter, which was absolutely bizarre and shaming you, KOC, oh, if you're calling plays. And that's the way <laughs> it's going. But uh, some of those catches he made today, especially that one on the sidelines where he went up and got his feet in somehow, was unbelievable. He makes those every single week. Uh, it's crazy. Justin Jefferson is so damn good. Damn near 200 yards today. He had he had a thousand yards on the season and he missed like seven games. So uh, this guy's the best in football. It's simple as that. Uh, let's go to a guy who's not the best in football, but he's climbing the charts as far as the running back when it comes to the Minnesota Vikings. Ty Chandler, 12 carries, 69 yards, five and a half average. And he had two catches for 20 yards as well. And what I like from Ty Chandler today was not just the speed that we see, but the vision, the power. I mean, he shook off some tackles. He got through some tight spaces, uh, wiggled off some guys. So Ty Chandler making a case to be running back one next year. Was it enough? I'm not sure if it was enough, but he definitely will be in the mix. And he probably will be Vikings starting running back next year, the feature back. In Here, here's where I'm at with Ty Chandler. You know what? He he started to prove that he can definitely be a running back in this league. I don't think he's RB1. Um, I hope he's not a running back one next year. I want them to draft some. I mean, we've, we've, well, we have know that we don't have to draft somebody uh, overly early in the draft to get a good running back. I, I, he needs some competition, and, you know, I don't know. He does. I'm, but he's not, made I'm a, not anointing him. and I don't He's think made he's a really very good. strong case for himself. I don't think so. I mean, I think he's proved that he's good. I want I want better than good. So, But he had a good game, so I'm not downplaying that at he all. Did. Johnny Munt, next on the list, 558. And not only just 558, but it's made some great effing plays for being Johnny Munt. Third and 30, who the Vikings go to? They go to fucking number 86, Johnny freaking Munt. Just lay one out to him. Uh, and he went up, high point that thing, caught the ball. And then later, it was Johnny Munt, right? He dry humped his way. He like did the yeah, freaking worm to get to, the ground. To, to get to first down. Uh, Johnny there. Munt, I always said he was a drive starter. Today, he showed a little bit more than that. Johnny Munt making some clutch plays for the Vikings today. Well done, Johnny. Uh, a very good tight end to have at the bottom of your depth chart. So, Johnny, thank you for that. Let's go to uh, let's go to Daniil Hunter, a man who got a sack, goes up to 16 and a half on the season. What did you say? He had six tackles? Yeah, two tackles for a loss, a sack. Finally got there. Took a while. We finally hit home. Uh, you know, Hunter, was this the last game he's ever played as a Minnesota Viking? I hope not. I hope not either, but it very well could have been. But 16 and a half, was that his final number this year? 16 and a half sacks. So. The, dude, the dude's just a beast, just a freak. And uh, and I'll miss him if he's gone. And, you know, he went on a high note. He went on a high note tonight. Yeah, hell of a season. Hell of a season. And uh, last guy, uh, not just, I mean, he had a hell of a career. Hell of a career. We got to put him on the list. Just for a career. <laughs> Harrison Smith. He had three tackles today, one pass defense. Uh, not his best game. Um, like in our post game, we said, you know, Father Time has caught up to Harrison Smith. Unfortunately, it does to everybody, but dude will go down as one of the best Vikings ever to play. We love him. We had to put him on the list. It was a must. BK uh, made him his player of the game as well. Not much else to say. I mean, he's a winner for what he's done. Well, he's a winner that he's still out there. He's a winner that he's still Harrison, the Hitman Smith, and we will miss you. Uh, this was his final game as a Viking, and 
again, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to take a life without him, but that's what that's the reality we're in. Old 22, put that thing up in the rafters. Do it, do it right now. Let us know your top winners in the comments. Uh, and as always, you know, we'll be here hot and heavy all week. Yeah, remember this Booger from Revenge of the Nerds. Real name of that movie was actually Dudley. Dudley Dodd.